Hello, family. Coach Gary, um, graduation is just around the corner and it's always a really emotional time for me and anybody that is in education. Um, but I wanted to share some information with you. <sighs> I love what I do. I, I'm blessed. Everybody asks me, what do you do? And I'm like, I get to hug and kiss, and kiss kids all day. I just absolutely love, 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 love what I do. Um, I was doing some research and I came across some fascinating numbers. Across the United States, across the board, valedictorians and salutatorians, 94% of these fascinating and wonderful students um, are band kids. Now, hold on, I'm a coach. I am a huge proponent of sports, please know. I need children to do sports. We also have rising numbers of childhood obesity. I need children to do sports, please. Okay, I'm not saying don't do sports. I need children in sports. Um, but another number to look at is when you look at the honor grads in the top 10% of these, these classes, around 84% of these students, 84% across the United States, these children are also band students. And there's, there's reasoning behind this. And a lot of it has to come with the ability to read music. It's, there's parts of the brain. And when it comes to sports, I'm gonna go back to that. Getting your child in a type of activity as early as you can, there are parts of the brain that if they're not activated by a certain age, they shut down. And one of these is balance. So, when you have children, getting them involved in, you know, t-ball, gymnastics, wrestling, some sort of activity as early as you can, the ability to walk in like a straight line, the ability to have that one foot in front of the other as soon as you can is imperative. Because if that part of the brain is not activated, it closes. That's why some adults are really clumsy and some adults aren't because they activated that part and it still continues to basically glow and, they, and then for some people, ah, mm -mm, doesn't work. Um, and not necessarily have to be like in band in school. You can do it with your church. You can do it at home. And we're blessed now that we have YouTube and there's so many apps and there's so many things you can do now. Even Guitar Hero when it comes to video games, being able to follow that, your brain pattern, being able to see that and then do it here, you're helping yourself. And it's an amazing process that helps you educationally. So this, it's just an amazing world where if you have the ability to read music, how that correlates to how you study and to how you learn. And it's just, you know, it, it study after study shows that it's not gonna hurt you. It's gonna do, you know, just enormous amounts of ways to help you. So with me, I'm an athlete and a musician. I love both. So I just coming to you, if you have a fifth grader and they're gonna be in middle school next year, they're gonna have the opportunity to be in band. So if they've shown any instrument, you know, interest in any instrument, um, just say, hey, you can be in band next year. Um, and if they pick an instrument and they don't like it, that's okay, they can try another one. Um, and also please get them in a sport. <laughs> please try something. <laughs> um, and what's even better about this is even if they don't want to be in that band class or chorus, um, that again, you can go to YouTube and just type in, how do you play guitar? How do you play didgeridoo? How do you play harp? How do you play organ? How do you play tambourine? There, there are so many ways that you can learn an instrument now. How do you play sousaphone? You can learn how to do so many amazing things on your own. Um, and it's just, it's such a gift. But I, I'm coming to you with something else too because I've told my fifth graders that if they get into middle school and they wanna play an instrument and or get into a sport, 
do not let money stop you. Especially here with Lumpkin County, I know our system and I know our coaches. We will find a way. And so they know, first off, find me. Money's not gonna stop you. I don't know what instrument it was that just fell. We'll get you there. If you do the work and you want it, we'll help you. This is that town. So just please know that there is, you are in a town that we take care of each other. Um, and there is just, it's, there's so much love when it comes to music. And I got to thinking about this just because I've, I've been seeing all these great <laughs> pictures and videos of these people loving on Taylor Swift and what if somebody told her that she couldn't pick, a, pick up her guitar or she couldn't be in chorus or something. So um, just know that if that's what you wanna do, um, we'll support you, you got us. Um, so yeah. It, I mean, it's just amazing. So I got you back. We're we're all in this together. I love you. I love you. Um, and if there's an instrument that you want to play and you can't find it, let me know. I'll find it for you. Okay. I love you. Go make a difference. You're worthy. Love you. Bye.